hey guys what's up welcome back to our tech is and this is ipad in my hand and the problem is that home keys of this ipad is not working but when i press the power key it's showing uh ipad is disabled so 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 basically this is the problem and most of the my viewers ask me have the same question like how can you restore a iphone or ipad if the home key is not working so that's why i'm making this video so you can fix your uh, ipad or iphones in the in, means if the home key of that phones are not working so basically in this process you require a working power key if the power key also not working then you can't fix that so in that case you require to first uh, fix the power key then do for this process and the second one is the you must be uh, remember your apple id and password if you forget that then you can stuck on this apple id or apple id screen apple icloud screen so basically you require to remember your apple id and password if you don't know in case of iphone 5 or iphone 4s then you can check my another video for icloud unlocking tutorials for iphone 5 and iphone 4s only so like let's directly jump in the computer to see uh, okay first of all you require to download this re iboot from the given link below the description and also you require to download itunes and both of the links are below the description you can check out there if you are if you first install the re iboot then you don't require to download itunes but if you have already itunes then no problem so let's directly uh, connect it so in the in this case you require the original cable which comes with the phone and let's connect it simply and power press okay it's, it's ipad is disabled so let's simply connect it with the computer actually my usb port is also not you know something loose so that's why it's uh it's disconnecting from the uh, okay now it's connected seems like connected it's charging uh something like charging is showing here well, on the ipad and let's uh, directly see the okay so here on the screen you will find that enter recovery mode or exit recovery mode so i require to go in the re-enter recovery mode to re restore the phone and this is a very helpful software if your home key is not working then you can simply go to the itunes screen or recovery screen so here you can see it's in the phone phone is out now on recovery screen so let first cross simply close the application and open the itunes so and now i am opening the itunes here okay so here simply click on restore and then restore and update and okay there it is 9.3.5 agree okay now the software is uh, downloading so this download process will takes around nine it depends upon the network speed and internet speed so my internet speed is uh, giving me 2 mbps per second so that's why it only takes 9 minutes to download all these files so let's fast forward this video for this 8 minute Okay, now to complete the uh, downloading process, it only requires five seconds, four seconds. Now, okay, now it's the downloading process is completely completed. Okay, now it's simply processing the file. Actually, the the software is process means the file is processing now. Is on processing. Okay, now it's completed and the extracting process is automatically started. If in case your phone is uh, disconnected or the phone is automatically started on the connect to iTunes screen, means uh, iPad is or iPhone is disabled screen, then you just disconnect the uh, 
phone or dev- phone or iPad, whichever device you have, and then again connect it with the with the re iboot same as it like uh, which I done before. Same connect it and enter on recovery mode and do the process. Restore and update. First click restore, then restore and update, and the process will start. So it's now extracting and here preparing for iPad restore. Waiting for iPad. Okay. It's installing the device software, driver software. Okay. Waiting for iPad. So I'm waiting for iPads. Verifying iPad for restore. Waiting for iPad. It seems my iPad is stuck on this waiting for iPad screen means uh, iTunes screen. It's not seems normal because it's only takes uh, five to ten seconds to uh, connect uh, connect again automatically connect again with the computer. Uh, let's see right now. Okay, first uh, simply, I think I need to again do the same process uh, like uh, disconnect the iPad and again connect with with the enter in the recovery mode with uh, reboot. Let's see, I will wait for thirty seconds now. Thirty more seconds. Let's see. still on stuck on this uh, waiting for ipad so that's why i'm going to disconnect the ipad and open this re iboot first okay it seems uh, the ipad is simply uh, really disconnected so that's why so first i remove the screen and again connect it Again, it's connected and okay. Hmm. 
refresh it and I have refreshed it and I will now reconnect the I first turn on the iPad to normal screen like connect to iTunes screen means uh, iPad or iPhone disabled screen so then I will connect it okay it's on already on iTunes stick on this iTunes screen so basically this uh, kind of uh, once it uh, on recovery mode then it's stuck on this uh, on iTunes screen basically this problem is occurs on uh, iPad so which is below the iOS 8 or iOS 8 versions actually this iPad is running on 8 so that's why it's stuck on this iTunes screen so I connected again and started the process so it's now again is extracting the software Extracting iPad could not be restored, not be found. Okay, actually, my it's disconnected, so that's why it seems my port is really loose so i have to connect in another usb port okay now it will so again click on restore restore and update and i have now connected with a and with a working fully working usb port it's not a loose usb port so i don't think now it i will face the problem again so now it's uh, extracting the software and let's see And this complete process will take around 20 minutes. In complete 20 minutes, you can restore your iPad, iPhone, Apple device, any app, iPhone, iPad, iPod, anything, whatever you have, just in 20 minutes. Okay, it's re extracting right now. okay it's preparing for ipad for restore waiting for ipad sorry ipad and preparing preparing ipad for restore okay now it's uh, waiting for ipod again ipad again and okay verifying ipad and restoring so now it seems uh, everything is now uh working well means all everything is going well so now uh, it required just 10 minutes to completely 10 to 10 to highest uh, average time is 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes more to completely restore the iphone so now i'm going to fast forward the video again and let's see
okay now it seems completed it's stuck on this now ipad means it's on the ipad screen on itunes and okay now it's asking for activation lock means it's required apple id and password to act successfully activate this iphone so you just required to put your apple id and password to activate the iphone now sorry there to ipad this or whatever you will you, you restore which device you are restoring just simply put your apple id and password uh, the phone will reactivate so and but now okay now the phone is also in hello so let's simply disconnect the cable and simply let's see that this let's try it. okay now connect me let me connect with the itunes I'm sorry means wi-fi okay okay it seems uh, as few minutes to activate your ipad and it will ask for apple id and password okay it's asking app it will require apple id and password so so this is the way in that way you can easily restore your ios ios device whatever you have iphone ipad ipod so if you like my video please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this